Hello, this is Curtis. For IBEW members digging up history on their locals, Curtis Bateman is the man to know at the International Office in Washington, D.C. As the new manager of the IBEW Museum, Bateman is overseeing the archival of every issue of the IBEW Journal, which will offer locals quick and easy access to more than 100 years of information on the Union's rich tradition. Most of the calls we get are from officers of, of locals, either a president or business manager, and they're just looking for some of their history, whether it's for a 100th anniversary or just to better educate their members. And really, most of that information uh, we can find from the IBW Journal. With a massive catalog of issues, the task of turning manuscripts into megabytes has been a year-long undertaking for Bateman and his colleagues. In order to get the issues into the database, we first had to look at the journal and see whether it could be scanned directly or if it was in too bad of a condition that better procedures had to be taken. Uh, if it was in great condition, we scan the pages, load them onto the database, and that's it. And older issues that are more delicate and frayed have to be handled with extra care, unbound, Xeroxed, and then scanned. Once the project is complete early this year, members can research years of their local's history online. We're going to load all the directories as well as the newly scanned journals onto local connections on the IBW website. And from there, members throughout their local offices can access all the officers in that local, correspondence throughout their history, local lines, and any such information that can be found in the IBW Journal. The journal has been the definitive word on IBW happenings since 1893. A quick scan of back issues paints a picture of a union moving forward through the best and worst times in American and Canadian history. The last edition of the journal hit members' mailboxes in winter of 2008. But while one tradition has faded away, the IBEW's story continues to be told in the pages of The Electrical Worker and on the website www.ibew.org. Now with the IBEW website even stronger, including other programs such as Facebook and Twitter, the preservation of history is now easier and more expansive than it's ever been before.